And welcome to the Metal Mix Tape here on KSQ 89.5 FM Action Oregon and 4.1 FM Metal Oregon and streaming online on KSQ.org. It's the boy, it's the dog, DJ Rambo. It is interview time, it is interview time. We have Frank from Sucker Punch, Southern Oregon fucking royalty on the line. Frank, how's it going, my man? It's good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to match that energy, but... Uh you know, at my age, I'll, I'll give it a shot. How you doing, Omar? Dude, I am doing great, dude. And you know what? Today, uh, it's, it's, it's a, you know, maxing, relaxing. And, and the fact that you were just able to do this interview right now, dude, I am amped, dude. And I'm not going to lie, I probably have had too much coffee right now. So you're catching me up a good time. Well, I've never seen you when you didn't seem like you had too much coffee. I, I, I can't tell the difference. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not going to talk. I'm going to talk to you. <laughs> No, um, no, I lost, I lost the 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 Takamini, and then I lost an, uh, I lost an acoustic, and then I lost my bass. But you know what though? You, you know what it was though? It wasn't the, the Takamini. It, it wasn't that like it was like the rarity or like or or or, or hard to find. It wasn't like anything like that. It was that. It was it was no it was that my uncle told me if I got good enough when I was fourteen on my acoustic guitar that he would give me my first electric guitar right and, and, and it, it was, yeah and and, he, and 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 I ended up playing La Bamba for him after like a year of playing acoustic and he gave me that guitar so it was more like a sentimental thing you know because in August in August I hit my twenty years of playing guitar you know since I started since I started playing it in August will be twenty years and and that was the first electric I got. Oh yeah, I know, and uh, and uh, and I still play my PV right now that that you worked on the setup, and it still has one of the best setups out there, dude. But dude, Frank, it's about you, man. Medford Metal Fest. I am beyond excited to have Sucker Punch on. Um, I've seen you guys live a dozen times, dude. I've seen you guys in Medford. I've seen you in Grand Pass. Um, you guys, you guys are just jam packed full of energy, dude. But um, but for people out there that maybe don't know Sucker Punch a whole lot, um, tell us everybody in your band who's involved in your band, and just tell us like um, what type of energy and uh, attitude and what your whole band is just about. Yeah, no problem. Um, so in that quick bio, uh, we started in 2009, so we're going on uh, 14 years now. Fuck yeah. And uh, myself and. Rob Lockwood, and we both share vocal duties. He plays bass, I play guitar. Um, and we have another guitar player, Mark Mello. And uh, we actually knew him as a kid, and he was like this, like, a bond bass player. Like, he was just so good. This crazy good bass player. And when we decided to add another guitar player, we called him because, you know, they go, I don't play guitar, we're like, perfect, you know, so we're not, we're not trying to be fucking eat big hawks, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're good, brother, you're good. All right, we're not trying to be eat big hawks over here, you know, we just want to, we're kind of a, you know, mediocre person, we call ourselves. <laughs> but, uh, and then we, uh, we had Marshall McAlpine on drums for probably six years now, we replaced our first drummer, and uh, he's, he's amazing again. We always said it's kind of the thing that keeps us going is that like we really are for that's like we, we I hang out with those guys all the time. Most of the time on practice we spend more time just kinda, you know, catching up and, and hanging out and having beers than we do, you know, working on stuff. Um, we actually have to you know force ourselves sometimes to pay attention to what we're doing. Um <laughs> Our band, he came 
came on about 10 years ago. And uh, it just kind of developed our own kind of style, you know. And it's constantly evolving, you know. We're every year being kind of changed and improved. And, and uh, we're just low key. We're not, you know, we're not trying to take over the world or anything. Probably play about five, ten times a year, you know, uh, do our little weekend tours. We're all, you know, I'm, I'm 52 years old, so I, 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 I can't, I don't have the energy to... You're a sexy 52, man. Ah, come on now. <laughs> you're, only saying, you're only saying that because it's true. <laughs> Well, dude, well, we are beyond honored to have you on Men from Melfest, dude, because, uh, you know, like you said, like, playing a, you know, and, hey, and I feel you on that, man, you know, I'm, I'm younger, but at the same time, like, I reevaluated my whole life this year, you know what I mean? Like, every, yeah. like, 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 Insanity's Reign is not going to be doing, like, 50 shows like we're normally doing, like, before I had it, before I was a dad, you know? So, yeah, so, by, so, the so way, by the way, man, I, I, it's always such a, a treat to see you guys play, but, like, Oh. 
zombies. You have any weapon, um, but it can't be the cure. It can't be the cure? And it can't be a nuclear weapon. Okay. Um, I would guess I would go with, like, one of those old-school Gatling guns, you know, so you could just sit up somewhere and just kind of mow them down. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I like it, dude. Um, as a musician, dude, how how, do you, how are you liking uh, the new style of amps coming out? All the new tempers, all the new pedals that have cab simulators and all this. Like, like, how are you? How are you seeing the comparison between them and tube amps nowadays? Like, like, are you um, like what was you know what? I I'm kind of a curmudgeon old fart. You know, I I've got my triple rectifier. It was kind of my my. Uh, bucket list amp and I got it about 10 years ago and I've always been a tube amp guy so I yeah, I, I mean I don't even use pedals I tried so hard to mess with tone and, and stuff and it just it always kind of just gets in my way and gets too complicated so I just try to get a good tone out of my out of my uh, Mesa um, I've seen all the long wing amps and and it, they're yeah they're insane but to me I mean, I almost have to go to school and learn how to, how to work something like that. No, I, yeah, I, but I know that the technology has gone leaps and bounds. I have friends that have them, and and yeah, you can you can get any tone you want. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, and no, it's it's definitely not. Well, Frank, I want to thank you so much for being on the Metal Next Head. I'm so excited to see you play Metford Metal as a sucker punch April 15th. Uh, go to MetfordMetalFest.com. We will have our ticket link up soon. Frank, I hope you have a beautiful day with your new grandson, with your family. I hope you have a safe drive. And I hope this weekend is just everything you want to be, my friend. Oh, thanks, brother. You're the sweetest. I love you, Omar. Oh, I love you too, Frank. Uh, I'll